The cosmic reserve corps of universe-conscious citizens on Urantia now numbers over 1,000 mortals whose insight of cosmic citizenship far transcends the sphere of their terrestrial abode, but I am forbidden to reveal the real nature of the function of this unique group of living human beings. Urantia mortals should not allow the comparative spiritual isolation of their world from certain of the local universe circuits to produce a feeling of cosmic desertion or planetary orphanage. There is operative on the planet a very definite and effective superhuman supervision of world affairs and human destinies. But it is true that you can have, at best, only a meager idea of an ideal planetary government. Since the early times of the planetary prince, Urantia has suffered from the miscarriage of the divine plan of world growth and racial development. The loyal inhabited worlds of Satania are not governed as is Urantia. Nevertheless, compared with the other isolated worlds, your planetary governments have not been so inferior. Only one or two worlds may be said to be worse, and a few may be slightly better, but the majority are on a plane of equality with you. No one in the local universe seems to know when the unsettled status of the planetary administration will terminate. The Nebadon Melchizedeks are inclined to the opinion that little change will occur in the planetary government and administration until Michael's second personal arrival on Urantia. Undoubtedly at this time, if not before, sweeping changes will be effected in planetary management. But as to the nature of such modifications of world administration, no one seems to be able even to conjecture. There is no precedent for such an episode in all the history of the inhabited worlds of the universe of Nebadon. Among the many things difficult to understand concerning the future government of Urantia, a prominent one is the location on the planet of a circuit and divisional headquarters of the Archangels. Your isolated world is not forgotten in the councils of the universe. Urantia is not a cosmic orphan stigmatized by sin and shut away from divine watch care by rebellion. From Uversa to Salvington and on down to Jerusalem, even in Havona and on Paradise, they all know we are here. And you mortals now dwelling on Urantia are just as lovingly cherished and just as faithfully watched over as if the sphere had never been betrayed by a faithless planetary prince, even more so. It is eternally true the Father himself loves you. Presented by the Chief of Seraphim, stationed on Urantia.